Here we are in Skegness. We've just arrived on the train. The trains come all the way from Nottingham. But if they change at Nottingham, they can come from all over. We've come here to find out why Skegness is rated the worst seaside town in the UK. Follow me. First thing you see when you get off the train at Skegness is this lovely thinking area and square and these fabulous statues. Come on, let's go. Here we are at Skegness High Street, just opposite the train station. Let's see if we can find out why it's so bad. Follow me. First shop we see is closed down. Even though that first shot was closed down, there's a lot more unique ones sell some unique things. Fabulous. Only a little bit down the high street, already you can see lots of bookies full of slot machines. Hence the name Skeg Vegas. Follow me. There's a dog shop. Dogs are welcome. So they should be. Another casino, go on Skeg Vegas. And unlike many other seaside resorts, we've got lots of independent stores. What's wrong with that? Fantastic. Look at this, a lovely delicatessen. You don't get that in many seaside you don't get towns. You that in many seaside towns. So far, this place is peachy. It was a great high street with lots of independent retailers. Well, look what I've just seen here. Spin you around. The shopping centre. It looks full of shops. Jeez, another great shop. We just had a look around Hildren's shopping centre and it's full of great shops. Nothing wrong with that. Skegness is the most dangerous town in Lincolnshire. With 182 crimes per 1,000 people. An offence being committed here once every 243 minutes. Well, that shopping centre behind me was pretty good, pretty decent. So was the high street. But well, let me spin you around and show you what I've just seen. <laughs> Skegness Seafront. Let's check it out. Look at this clock tower behind me in the middle of a roundabout. Look at all that that's going on behind. Come on, let's check it out. Here we are at the south side. And look behind me, we've got a fantastic looking crazy golf and an aquarium. Not many seaside resorts can say that. Another thumbs up. This fantastic looking crazy golf is only £5 per person or £3.50 for children. Wow, great value for money. Whilst that view behind us is absolutely incredible, let me just spin you around and show you what I've seen. A dinosaur! It's a massive dinosaur! <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> no, it's not. That boating lake was really, really lovely, but let me just spin you around and show you what I've seen. You're not going to believe this. There's What's a waterfall! Ball? What do you think of it so far, Jilly? I don't understand how it's been rated the worst in the UK. I am loving it so far. It's what stunning, a great isn't place. it? What an amazing place. So far, we're really impressed with this place. What I want to do is go and check out the beach, find out if down there there might be a reason this is the worst seaside resort in the UK. Because so far, we haven't been able to find it. I've just seen the beach over there, follow me. To get to the beach, you've got to cross this massive field. Come 
we've just got to the beach. And it looks pretty decent to be fair. Maybe it's the water quality that's getting a bad rating. Let's go and check that out. Beautiful. So first thing I have noticed is that the sand's got lots of little rocks in it. Um, but there's still people lying down and enjoying it. Uh, I don't think that's a reason for a bad rating, do you? Now here's Jill checking out the water quality. What's that water quality like, Jill? It doesn't seem too bad. It's quite windy today, so it's a bit frothy. I think that's what causes the froth. I'm not sure why it should be frothing. Maybe you can tell us in the comments below. Yeah, please do. <laughs> it's making me want a frothy coffee. Right, we're leaving the brown frothy sea behind, and now we're going to check out Fun fair. Skegness donkeys, as seen on TV. Cheaper than Scarborough. I'll be back. <laughs> what does that sound? <laughs> Well, nice, isn't it? I'll be back. That's crap. <laughs> I'll be back. Hasta la vista, baby. It's me, Mario! Feed the piggies, Jill. Feed the piggies. Oh. Oh, that's the only one that works. Rubbish. Oh, mystery! Mystery! While well, Skegness Pleasure Beach have loads of great rides and some fun arcades, let me turn you around and show you what I've seen over here. Skegness Pier! Skegness Pier, let's go check it out! We've had a walk to the end of Skegness Pier and it was very lovely. Now, we're going to go and find an ice cream. Stay with us. Look at that for a cracking Instagram shot. Never seen so many arcades and casinos. Just stretch out in every direction. Another crazy goal. This is about the fourth one we've seen. These Lincoln people love their crazy goal. I think we've found Skegness Park. Looks a bit sorry for itself, I have to admit. <laughs> Boo. get lost in Skegness. There's wonderful maps everywhere. Check it out. So even though we're by the seaside and we should really get fish and chips, we've actually googled where's the best place to eat in Skegness and it's told us San Rufo, which is apparently is an Italian little joint. Let's go check it out. We are in San Rufo's and we're going to get the pizza diavola, garlic bread with tomato and a side of chips. A little taste of Italy in Lincoln. Roni in a nice glass. Very nice. Delicious. Cheers to Skeggy. Pizza Diavola, chili infused. Garlic bread with tomato. Mm, Hand cooked chips have been cooked only once and have a beautiful, fluffy consistency. Oh, uh, cooked to perfection. Delicious. 
crust is thin and crispy, delicious. Mmm, piping hot, easy, gorgeous. The pizza diavoli is really delicious with a thin, crispy base, gorgeous pepperoni that gives it a little bit of a kick. A little lacking in the chilli, but very delicious and cheesy. Mm. The chips are super crispy on the outside, giving them a crunch and fluffy and white in the middle. Superb! The tomato garlic bread has a lovely crisp edge and the base is lovely and soft. The garlic and tomato complement each other perfectly. Well, that was absolutely delicious. San Rufo's, five out of five. What do you say, Jill? Absolutely five out of five. Good times. That was absolutely delicious Italian. It's made us excited for our holidays, obviously, later this year. Um, but we've also got lots of energy now. We're going to try and find some locals and get their opinions on what they think of Skegness. Stay tuned. Well, we are here at a racetrack. It was a bit noisy, so we didn't have to shout. Um, we did get to speak to some locals, and they all said that they love Skegness, and then they fell over. Uh, drunk. drunk. <laughs> so we're probably not going to use that footage, but the general impression was the locals love the place, and I can see why. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know who's rated it the worst seaside town in the UK, but that's a load of rubbish. Absolute garbage. Fantastic place to come. Family's enjoying it. It's just brilliant. I've always got to be There's tons to do here. Um, way more things to do in one day. We need a weekend, probably longer. Um, absolutely fantastic. We're giving Skegness on their tip scale five out of five. Check it out. Go Skeggy. Go Skegness. <laughs>